welcome and today we are heading to Cebu City. We're going to see whether you should go if you're travelling the Philippines. We've never been there so we're interested to see what it's like and whether you should stay for a night or two. We are currently in the middle of Balho near Carmen so we've got to get a bus and then a ferry over to Cebu. So let's start the journey. So after that crazy minibus ride, he was driving so fast, but at least we got here quick. We're getting the 1040 ferry over to Cebu City. So this is going to be cool. Um, yeah, excited to get this ferry. I think it's like more of a local one. It costs 800 pesos, which is like 11 quid. Every ferry we've got in the Philippines, you always get a terminal fee as well. I don't know why they don't just add it to the ticket, but yeah, that's what they do. So we've got to go get that so we can go to the toilet and stuff. Uh, we got our tickets. Thank you. So we had to pay for 100 peso each for the bags and then 30 pesos for the terminal fee. I don't know why they just don't add it in altogether, but that's what we had to do. So we were just harassed by loads of people, but now we are in Cebu City, which is going to be awesome. Uh, no, thank you. No. So we have just checked into our Mad Monkey Hostel here in Subu City. It's a pretty nice place. It's got like good bed, toilet, all that stuff. And now we're going to head to SM City, which is like the big mall, because hopefully it's going to be Christmassy and we want to check out the city. Let's go. Pew. So we've just started walking. We're going to try and find a taxi, but there's none in the area at the moment. But we'll try and flag one down in a minute. So we have just come into the SM City and this place is packed. It is a Sunday, so it's super busy. But I actually need to try and get a new GoPro because I broke my other one in uh, Sharagao if you watch that video, so. Whoa. So I am now on the new GoPro, the Hero 11. How does it look? Does it look cool? Uh, the guys were so helpful in there. And yeah, basically sorted it all out and finally got a new GoPro after breaking it in Sharagao. So it is the next day. We had lots of stuff to do. Um, around and like get a new GoPro, get some new flip flops. But it's actually quite hard walking around Cebu. Like there's so much going on and there's not really any pavements here either. Ah, Buka, Buko. So we just saw some guy chopping the coconuts in the street. I don't know where, if there's like a main center of the town. I just don't really know where to go really. When we were asked at the hostel where we should go, no one really told us anywhere. They just told us like San Pedro Port, which is near where we got the ferry. One of the funny things I've seen on TikTok is that in the Philippines, they have a lazy way of saying hello. And that's just like raising their eyebrows. And I see it all the time now after I've seen that TikTok and it's just so funny. So I've started doing it back like, hey. And yeah, it's just a nice way of acknowledging people but not saying anything. Look at all the wires. There's so much electricity going on. There's also a storm at the background. Whoa, if that storm, Hits these wires, electricity is going to go off, isn't it? I don't it? want to be around here if that yeah. happens. So they are the classic jeepneys. That's like the best way of getting around town. And it's really cheap as well. We got one when we we're in Camiguin Island. Um, and they you kind of just hop on and then hop off. And they're, yeah, really good value for money. But there's so many in Cebu. Here's another one. It is definitely warmer in Cebu than it was on the islands. Like you can feel the humidity and like, I don't know, maybe a bit of pollution and stuff. It's just hot out here. I'm sweating already. Hello. Nope. Okay. Hello. There is loads of construction going on back there where there was a big crane there's a couple of big cranes going on here so maybe this city is developing quite a bit and you know in five years it could be a bit more modern or just like more going on i don't know but i also want to say i think our hostel mad monkey hostel is located in a really bad location it just feels like it's in the suburbs somewhere and it's not really in the center of town or where you can see some of the good sites so yeah i think that's something where we're staying does affect like what we've seen of this city. One of the cool things is you also get loads of bakeries in the Philippines and if you want to have a really cheap breakfast as a backpacker or don't want to spend much money then you can just buy them for like a few pesos each for like a little bit of sweet stuff so yeah that's one way for a cheap breakfast here. 
Oh, so we are back in the hotel room. Honestly, it is hot out there. Thanks to the AC, it's actually manageable. So I wanted to have a little chat with you about Subu City and whether you should come here because obviously you've kind of seen the area now, but should you come here? Should you stay a night, two nights, three nights? So what I'd recommend is probably staying just one night in Cebu City. So there are a few things you can do, like Fort San Pedro, which is like a 1700 fort, um, which is where we arrived on the ferry. And um, you can also go to SM City, which is a massive mall. And there's also a new SM City, which we haven't been to, but it looks loud looks really impressive. So a lot of the things to do in Cebu are actually out of the city itself. So you need to get like transport out. So maybe recommend staying other places. We're gonna be heading to Mobile next, which is like, I think a three or four hour bus journey. Um, and in Mobile, there's lots of different waterfalls, hikes, like canyoneering, obviously. And I'll be doing more videos on that shortly. If you've just landed in Cebu, whether you come from Manila or somewhere internationally, then I would only recommend staying one night and then head to Mobile, Bowhole, Mole Bowl, Bowl Hole or Sigi Hall or wherever you're planning to go next because you can't just use this as one night and then go off. Also, we're staying in Mad Monkey Hostel and I wouldn't really recommend it. Like, it's actually not been great. I think it's fairly good for social, but everything else has been pretty run down. I just wouldn't recommend staying here. I'm sure there's much better hostels you can stay in Cebu. Especially if you're on a budget, they overcharge on food. They even charge for water, which is actually mandatory in the Philippines to and provide service water if you're at a restaurant or a bar. So there you go. So I hope that was useful, whether you should stay in Cebu City, honestly, just the one night, two nights maximum, and you'll be good. That'll be enough in the city. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe. We've got more backpacking tips and more travel videos coming in the Philippines and through Southeast Asia. So subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.